Oops. So, we have uh, come to the pinnacle of our reviews for this evening. Ha <laughs> which is, oh, for fuck's sake, oh, four, five, six, vapor. So we have a six flavors from them that we're going to try tonight. Uh, start, we have Norma Jean. We have Lemon Lush. Roy, will, you will not like Lemon Lush. Uh, we have Teacher's Pet. Sounds dirty. We have Dragon's Lair Custard. We have Rainbow Sherbert, which this better have my name on the bottle next time. Or I'm going to be angry. Do you know me the, uh, yeah. I and we have Resting Bitch Face. I mean, Raging Banana Fury. Okay. Um, what would you like? Uh, the Kennedy. The Kennedy's. Oh, right here. The, which Kennedy? Mine. Yours. And, uh, so I believe, actually, I will switch up and I will go to the Kennedy as well. I'm proud of this Kennedy. Uh, Mikey, we do have some other RDAs in here, buddy. Yeah, just throw me one. I don't think you want a Dark Horse, or do you want a Freak Show? Give yeah, me a Dark Horse. I've had enough Freak Show in my life. There you go. Uh, so. Twisted Infinity. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> don't show me. Show them. Um, so being that none of us have actually... Actually... None of us have had, have had any of these flavors from O4 Mike 6. And I got a special treat for you guys. Uh, we are going to bring on a guest to our show this evening. That's good. A, a call in guest. Oh, okay. So, ninth caller. So, we're going to add a call in guest to our show this evening. Does he get a prize for being the ninth caller? Right here. Hey, bring it over here. Hello? You're on candy camera. Congratulations, you're the ninth caller. How's it going, guys? You have just won a chance to be reviewed on the lounge. Fantastic. So what we have in front of us, uh, I'm going to introduce everybody to Tim Cunningham. He is the owner of 0456 Vapor. Uh, he has joined us this evening via telephone call uh, to discuss Hello. his product and uh, we'll in, give a little uh, insight behind what he does, I guess. So what we've got from you this time, Tim, is we got Norma Jean, Lemon Lush, Teacher's Pet, um, Dragon's Lair Custard, Rainbow Sherbert, and RBF. Um, I have snuck a sample of the Rainbow Sherbert. Of course. I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't not. Um, I, I'm a big Sherbert fan. Should have had my name on the bottle. Um, that would have been perfect. There we go. I got him. What are you doing? It's a picture of Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he, he's pulled a picture of you up on his phone, which is kind of creepy that he has a picture of you on his phone. Everybody has. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> it works though. <laughs> you're now propped up with a Cherokee mod box facing camera, so you're on camera. All right. Um, Thank you, Cherokee mods, for the great stand. <laughs> I am just worried, and necessity is the mother of invention. I'm still worried at the fact that you have a picture of Tim on your phone. It's his Facebook profile picture. That's I'm, even creepier. So I mean, go so you. So you're stalking him on Facebook. <laughs> oh, that's Tim Cunningham picture. I think you're stalking him. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, really. So, uh, Roy, anything you want to discuss with Tim before you get started here? Uh, I'm going to have to thank Tim. Because okay. he just sent me a uh, a uh, uh, Heracles tank. Oh, yeah, uh, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, um, I did got, he send you something? I've got an alliance here that has a wonderful build on it. Oh, I'm so in love with the alliance right now. Oh, dude, this this thing has <laughs> knocked my socks off. I absolutely yeah. love it. I think Roy lost it. But I did. It was on the other IPV. 
Who has the other IPV? Uh, we have too many boxes here. Is that what you're That is the Alliance. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, love, I love the Alliance. We, we lost everything for a minute there. Um, you actually took that off? Did you hit that? I'm I did. I used it like three times. I'm impressed with the Alliance. That, that, that's actually a really good... Uh, it's a game changer for sure. Dude, it's... it's Blows my mind. I'm, I'm so impressed with it. The airflow is amazing. Uh, you got enough space on the deck to actually build something. We have not switched it from a three post to a four post yet, though. Uh, uh, you... That one, that one doesn't do that. That's oh. the one that you've got is the 22 millimeter. The the new one, the 28 and a half millimeter, the big one has has the interchangeable uh, ah. to the quad post. Ah. That one has. That one has a spare post, but it's just a single, like the one that's on it. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. So the 28 oh. millimeter, 28 and a half millimeter has the, the T post there. Right. Ah. Um, something else too. Uh, the two extra, uh, the two extra sleeves that come with it in the in the, the packaging. Yes. Did you did you notice that those are? It's not adjustable airflow, but those are different. Airflow sizes. Yeah, I was looking at that. I actually uh, have the largest um, sizing on here. Gotcha. Okay. Um, that's pretty much what I'll rock all the time. The, uh, the smallest one is more airflow than anybody will ever need. The biggest one is like no resistance at all. Yeah, I, I that's how I prefer it. Uh, yeah. I, I, the more airflow, flow, the more cloud, the less airflow, the more, more flavor. Um, but with this one, I seem to get great flavor and great cloud uh, yeah. with, with this big airflow. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, oh, no problem. That is awesome. And enjoy the Herc, too. <laughs> well, I, I, I plan to. I have the Herc that I got from you as well. Um, and uh, I don't rock it as much. I'm more of an RDA guy, but I, I do use the uh, use the Herc from time to time. And I, I actually like it. For a tank, I like it. I do, too. It's, um, I, you know, I went through all the sub-tanks, and... You know, obviously the Kangers and the Arctics and the Atlantis and the, the Smokes and the, or the Smocks or whatever and the Limo and the Mellow and all of them. And I keep going back to the Kangers and the Hurt. Those, I mean, I just, I just stick with those. I, I haven't found any that, in my opinion, for what I use them to do, I haven't found any that, that, that compare to what, to what those two do. I'll tell you, the, Closest I found, there's two of them that I found that are really close to the Herc, and that is the Matrix and the uh, High Voltage. Uh, I haven't played really with the High Voltage, but yet. I actually bought a Matrix. Uh, what's that, Tim? Uh, I, I have, those are two that I, I, I haven't tried either one of those yet. I, I recommend the Matrix for sure. Oh, yeah. um, and the High Voltage is basically the Matrix big sister. Okay. For lack of a better It's made by the same company. Um the high voltage, I believe, uh, will handle up to 150 watts. That Herc will hit at 150 watts and not go dry. But the tank will empty. <laughs> <laughs> In about four <laughs> seconds. Um, so we're going to start with, uh, with Norma, Norma Jean. Jean. Yeah. Um, you tell us okay. a little bit about this flavor profile and, and what it does, what it is. Norma Jean is... Um, Basically, it's a caramel vanilla custard. It is my standard crazy vanilla, uh, the crazy vanilla custard that everybody's absolutely infatuated with, um, with a, a really nice um, blue caramel uh, worked in with it. And it just, they, they just go really, really well together. Um, we, here, here, uh, we use it more as a, it's a morning vape, really, you, you know, with us, with your coffee in the morning or whatever. Yep. Um, it just goes really, really well. It works all day, but it's phenomenal in the morning. That's, and that, that's, I mean, that's when we use it almost exclusively here at, uh, here at our house. Well, I can tell you, um, the flavor test itself... <laughs> Um, is is great. Can you edit I, that out? I, I can definitely see where it would be a uh, a morning vape for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Um, we uh we have reviewed Norma Jean before. Have we? We did. It was the first time we got L four five six. 
before he went through his revamp. Oh. So we liked it before, but it wasn't great. Right. Right. So what's it going to be now? <laughs> Roy's popping. Okay, I like it more now. I do. That's that's great. It's a lot smoother now. Um, it's very very clean. The caramel doesn't bite you as bad. I can I get both flavors. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely more of a morning vape. It's nowhere near as sweet as it was before. No, no, it's still down some. Um, I'm not sure what you did, Tim, but you did a great job on the revamp. Well, thank you. Um, for me, I could, I could definitely, definitely rock that pretty, pretty regular. Yeah, I, that, that, I wouldn't do it all day, but I could do that most mornings and probably most evenings. Oh, this, this would be in my pocket at work. Because you drink coffee all day. Exactly. I don't. Well, you're a douche. No, I just prefer not to destroy my stuff closet. Well, they I mean, don't have one left anyway. Yeah, uh, we're gonna well, s- let, let, let's step over. Well, well we got to give. It, I'm going to give this a four and a quarter. I was going to give it a four. Okay. okay. Because it's 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 better than it was. But I've had his juices before. I know what he can produce. I've given him as high as a five before. Yes, we have. Uh, that Rupert float. Mm-hmm. Oh, that Rupert float mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. It is not. Your- um, our next flavor we're going to try, Tim, is, is your Lemon Lush. Oh. Uh, Roy is probably not going to like this, um, being that he does not care for uh, cereal style bacon. If I'm not mistaken, this does have a cereal base, I believe. It, it is a cereal base. However, um, I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, when, I, when I first started... Uh, one of the mix, one of the flavors that I had the most difficulty with was a Fruit Loops flavor, and to me there was too much of a citrus, too much of a of a fruity pebbles, and that wasn't what I was going for. Um, but I came across this flavor off by accident in doing that. So yes, it has a it has a cereal base to it, but it's a very um, I, I don't want to say it, 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 it's not a cakey, but it's a desserty kind of a lemony, almost a lemon cream pie kind of flavor to it. I like it. I like that a lot. Uh, okay, we're in Pennsylvania. You're new here. Have you had Tasty Cakes yet? Oh, uh, yeah. Have you had their lemon pie? I have not had their lemon pie. That's what their lemon pie tastes like. I, to me, this kind of has a tricks flavor. Okay. I can see that. I'm, I'm going to say hot damn. I'll take it. This is going in my pocket <laughs> yeah. every day. Yeah, this is an all-day bake for me. No, I can't do it all day. I, I get the lemon. I do not get any other kind of fruit blend. I don't. I just. It's not pledged, thank God. No, it's definitely <laughs> not pledged. Um, but and, and I, all I, it seems like all the only flavor I can really draw out of it is that damn lemon flavor. I, I love it. I'm getting tricks completely. Yeah, um, yeah you hit a home run. Of silly me. rabbit, this one's for me. Um, yeah. Through and through, 100% home run. I've got to give this a four and a half. Very nice. Sorry. I know you are. Three and a half. You are dingleberry. Uh, it's great production. The the It definitely has a lemony profile, but it's a lot of lemon. Well, that's... I'm not getting a lot of lemon. I'm going to give it a four and a quarter. Jump in between the two of you here. Makes me really, Fitting. really happy. Nice play on words. There, yeah, though. it makes me and, really, uh, really happy. He's really happy to be jammed between us. <laughs> <laughs> it's well. A, it's a Mikey sandwich. Wow. And there it is. It happens. It happens. That's what happens when you have your, your special root beer. Uh, Corn yeah. star bottle over yeah, there. Yeah, Tim, I, I'm definitely going to go. That, that's an all dayer for me, buddy. Um, awesome. Definitely. I love it. Uh, what are we going to? Fantastic. Uh, teacher's Pet. Uh, this was made uh, by request of Robbie Dunn. Ah! Makes a little bit more sense now. Oh. Um, this flavor profile, What is it? what is it, Tim? Uh, vanilla caramel and butterscotch custard. Oh, I might like this one. 
<laughs> Shut the front door. <laughs> so let's see if Robbie's hitting hitting home runs with his request here. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. It, this is a more more of a morning bake for me. This is one of those, uh, I got a sweet tooth, you switch it up for a little bit, morning bait maybe, or even a dessert bait after a good dinner. Yeah, yeah, I can see that too. Not an all day, you're absolutely right. Yeah, could, after I dinner, all day. after a good, like a, a meaty dinner, this would be awesome. But I'm going to tell you, after a good dinner or a morning bait, this would rock. For sure. Um, That's right. I'd, I'd, I'd go for it. I'll go for it. Four is fair. Um, I'm not a big dessert guy, and I like it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a four. Um, My, Mikey being the next vote in line here. I, yeah, I'd, I'd go with four, too. I'd say maybe not as much a dessert as a late-night snack day. Just something later. You're watching a movie. You need something to vape on. Throw it in. You're good to go. Very nice. Fair enough. Where are we going next? Well, first I get to get this for you. It's 510 on this particular one. It's kind of tricky. I'm just going to keep it in stuff you're ready. Um, next, we are going to go to uh, ah, Dragon's Lair Custard. It'll be our next one. Um, now, Correct me if I'm wrong, this flavor profile was created for uh, Edwin Banks. Yeah. Also known as Emberlon. Emberlon, yes. Uh, <clears throat> named after his show, uh, The Dragon's Lair. So what is this flavor profile, Tim? That is a peanut butter, chocolate, and banana custard. crickets. <laughs> that is not the smell I'm giving. Um, I've never... It actually, oh, it, it yeah. Actually works That's exactly really, what it is. Mm -hmm. it, it, it works really, really well. I, I kind of always shied away from, you know, the peanut butters and, and the bananas individually, but that one works so, so yeah. well in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Peanut butter is how I quit Newport's. Um, never really done a peanut butter bag. Well, I've done a peanut butter cup that you, uh, that you I'm made. not sure if I want to do uh, this. Peanut butter knockout. I don't think I've ever seen him so excited on any video that hasn't seen a bottle go flying across the room. Um, oh. this is, did you taste this? Not yet. I, I, I'll be honest. I, the taste test itself, um, I don't think it's my kind of, going to be my kind No, of no, not at all. But okay. it may burn different. Here we go. I'm a peanut butter guy. The vape is different than the taste. Not enough. <laughs> okay, Timmy, there's a lot going on with this flavor. I get a lot of banana myself. I'm picking, picking up a like, lot of banana. Which is good for me because I, I prefer that. I, I like a banana vape, so that is good for me. I, you definitely pick up the peanut, uh, the peanut butter on the on the exhale, uh, but that's really all I can taste is peanut butter and, and, and banana, and I am not Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. After about a week, week and a half, the chocolate starts to come through quite a bit. Uh, I actually have had to tone the chocolate down some because I've had, I was told uh, that right off the bat you don't really get much chocolate. After about a week, week and a half or so, the chocolate almost becomes overpowering and that's all you get. Oh. See, now when you said banana, I, uh, when I said I first smelled it and it wasn't what I was getting, I think the banana was exactly what I was getting. It's such a banana over everything else. I, I think... I mean, yeah, I can't do this one. Honestly, <laughs> it, it's not a... It, 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 it's not a vape for me. Um, it's not a bad vape. Uh, um, I mean, for me, I, I would go probably a 
That's three on this one. But taste is subjective. I mean, it, it's just not my... As a, as a flavor, in my personal opinion, I if, if it was going in my catalog, it'd be at the very back. That being yeah. said, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to throw out to everyone... This is probably a really, really good flavor if you like bananas. Oh, I like bananas. It's not bad. If you like mm. peanut butter. Again, we haven't really got the chocolate. I'm not big on peanut butter, and I really don't like banana. Two and a half, because I'm going to put it right at the baseline. I'm getting more of a banana and chocolatey than I am getting the peanut butter. I'm not catching the peanut butter so much. That being said... Although it's not my flavor, I'd still say it's got to be above a three, maybe a three and a half, because everything that it says it's going to deliver, it does. It, it, it delivers. Does. It's it's on point. It's exactly as advertised. Crowd production's through the roof, and that's all you can ask for in any juice, for it to say what it is. Well, it's it's definitely you know uh, lives up to its name. Yes, it does to a T. But man, he, he, that's one. That's one. Timmy did a little too good. Because it, it tastes just like he says it's gonna taste. And no, it's no. <laughs> you, you hit the nail on the head on flavor, but it's just not my kind of bait. Oh and, god. And I'm 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 right there with you guys. I am not a, a banana or a peanut butter guy. Um, but I will tell you, the people that that are who who have ordered it are just head over heels over that. Right. right. I can see that. Now, I just opened the bottle on one that, uh, that... That I'm excited about. I really, you know, <laughs> I, I think you should just, you know, you should just send me a gallon of it. Uh, <laughs> oh, you've tried this one already. I have. You bastard. This is the Rainbow Sherbert, and Tim and I have had extensive conversations over the past several months about Rainbow Sherbert. You you were the, the 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 flavor creator on that one. Really? You, well, you you did you give Robbie credit on the uh, on the teacher's pet, Emberlon on the dragon's lair. Y'all talk. You, you were the voice <laughs> behind the behind the sherbert. I did not realize that until just now. Uh, <laughs> this is wow! It's actually got the. This is the best. This is, it, it tastes like it. it, it it doesn't taste like sherbet. Uh, most of the most of the <laughs> sherbets I've tried, um, I, I just picked up one down on uh, on Route 30 uh, at Vape in Vape in on 30, and it's a it's a sherbet. It's a sherbet froyo, and it tastes like the orange sherbet. Uh, most of the sherbets you get taste like orange sherbet. This one actually has the lemon tone, the lime tone, the orange tone. That is really really good. As it goes across your tongue, you taste everything. Oh, That's a great rainbow bait. That is amazing. Rainbow sherbet. Amazing. That, that is good. Uh, four and a half is right there, right off the bat. Um, I've, I've had rainbow sherbet. That goes right next to offload. This goes above offload to me. No, no, not to be offload. <laughs> Stop being crazy. Let me try it again. <laughs> Let you try it again. What did you do? Oh, well, I, look at his cotton. His the cotton's destroyed. Oh, calm down. It's fine. We're gonna have to teach Mikey how to wig, Tim. You are you <laughs> Pennsylvania guys. Um, Tim, home run. Yeah, buddy. that that's a. Uh, what did what did you give it? Uh, four and a half. I'm gonna go higher. Really? I'll get a four point seven five. Really? Just by he calls it a rainbow sherbet. You get a lemon, a, a, a lemony taste. Right on the inhale, while it's I think it was yeah. while, while it's still in, you get that orange and that and the, that orange creaminess, and as you exhale, you get that lime flavor. Am I wrong? No, you are absolutely right. That's exactly how rainbow yeah. sherbet tastes. You are one hundred percent right. Um, and I like rainbow sherbet. I do. Honestly, this is probably this is probably the best flavor I've I've had yet from O four five six. Second best. Well, that's your opinion. <laughs> you you love the ruby. And right after right after rainbow sherbet, it's going to be the uh, the raspberry. Uh, negative. The raspberry soda. Negative. Oh, absolutely. Negative. Totally. Negative. Definitely. No. Mm -hmm. It's it. No. It's the hoop fruit. 
No, definitely not the Hoover. And calm down, ladies. And calm then down. It's Lush. I. Those, those are those I'm, are my top four. I'm gonna say it's a four point five. It delivers every possible thing you can ask for, and it's got great cloud production. It's not something. You know I forgot about cloud production. It's really <laughs> not something that I could vape all of the time. Oh, I could. But that's because I'm not a big sherbet guy. No. Oh, that I being said, all it's, day, every day. it's still a home run. 100% truth for approval. All day, every day. I need that's gallons of it. That's good. That is mind. really good. What? Um, yeah. I'm glad you guys like that. I, I really am. I was I was a little concerned about that one, just in just in in making it in general. No, that that is exactly what I would have would have expected out of the Rainbow Sherbert. Um, that is the but, last thing I would have expected out of a Rainbow Sherbert. Uh, that is the most you can ask for from a Rainbow <laughs> Sherbert. I, the, the simple fact that you were able to hit on every key ingredient that a Rainbow Sherbert would have: the inhale, the exhale, the flavor. The, the palate cleansing flavor. Yeah. Um, it does too. You, I, yeah, it does. Yeah. It, it's yeah. phenomenal. Uh, yeah. So you can just go ahead and send me, uh, I don't know, about a 55 gallon drum. And we'll if I can get a keg of that. Yeah. For <laughs> review purposes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a home run in my book. So next, what we have is uh, RBF. Hot damn. Now, I believe this was for. Uh, Another member of the lounge that this was created for. That uh, is correct, yes. This would be for Dana Paul, I believe. Yes. Um, now, what is the exact flavor profile besides resting bitch face? <laughs> well, <laughs> Dana asked me for what she was looking for was there's a restaurant, and I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't know about throwing the names of uh, restaurants out there, but it's 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 one of those kind of car hop style restaurants that you know you drive up, you order from the machine, oh. and they bring oh, them up okay. to your car. I know okay. exactly uh, what you're talking about. Well, There's a ton of those down in her area. You've got to remember, you know, Dane and I are from the same general vicinity, so I know exactly what you're talking about. And they have a strawberry. Or I'm sorry, they have a banana milkshake. Yes, they do. That, had, that, that she said when they bring it out, it's a banana milkshake with a little sliver of strawberry on top. Yep. That's what she got. Okay. So, Raging Banana Fury, I believe, is what the RBF actually stands for uh, as far as the juice. Rock, rockin' Banana Fury. Rockin' Banana Fury. Rockin', rockin', rockin banana, banana, banana Fury. Fury. I was thinking Raging, but okay. And I... And I know what you guys are thinking banana versus the banana in the Dragon Slayer. It's actually a different banana. Oh. How about you give us the bottle? Are you going to share? Share what? What that? I'll just take the sherbet again. I'll kill you. <laughs> I will stab you in the face. Well, that's honest. Oh, you, Bubba. I've never seen Cut a Bitch there. Uh, that is definitely a. Uh, a different banana. Um, I like that banana. I'm a fan of a banana vape. Um, I just don't care for the banana with peanut butter and chocolate mixed with it. That's not bad. Um, that's a clean banana. Yeah, that's, uh, again, not that this is not going on my list, but it is oh, nowhere man. near as harsh as the. Uh, it'd, be on, it'd be on my list. Yeah, this banana. is on my list. And I'm not a banana guy. I like banana now and later's when I was a kid, but right. I'm not a huge banana fan. Yeah, I, this this is on point, right? But here. you know that's smooth enough that you could. I could bake that all day. Oh no, I could do it all. I mean, but where I gave, I gave a two point five to uh, to the Dragon's Lair. The Dragon's Lair. That's a that's a that's a three point five pushing a four. Well, that's a, a four pushing a four and a half. To me, good on you. Mm. That that banana flavor is still very pronounced. Well, you're not a banana fan. No, I'm not. So, um, I don't. Uh, little overdrive. Yeah, I would give it every a time. Four. It's, 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 it's kind of one of those guys that has to wipe their mouth every time they talk. Man. Well, he has to wipe his mod every time he drips. Yeah, that happens. I'm used to <laughs> tanks. This whole dripping thing. <laughs> 
You, you know what? You they gonna, invented sub ohm tanks, so I don't have to deal with this madness. You're going to learn today. It's good. It is really, I mean, the fact that I said a banana vape is good says a lot. It does. I agree. I, uh, I, I'm going to say because it's bouncing to me between a four to four and a half, I'll go a, a solid four and a quarter. Yeah, I'll give you a 3.75. Okay. Going to a four. All right. I, I'd say you pretty well, for the most part, aside from Dragon Slayer Custard, because I don't think any of us really cared for that one, and that's just a, a, a flavor preference. I've noticed, and he's on the phone now, so I can say this. I've noticed every time we review 0456, there's one we love. Yeah. There's one we absolutely hate. Yeah. <laughs> and everything else kind of falls in the middle. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever tasted one of his flavors that I hate. It's just not always for me. But that's pretty much any juice okay, I have. I, I will say, uh, none of these flavors do I hate. But there's one in particular I will never order. There's definitely, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Well, two yeah. for me. And that's just a preference. You know, like I said, for me, that's not why. If I was looking to order to order juice from somebody else, that's one personally that I would skip, skip right by. Right. But I know, the, like I said, the people that love it, or the, you know, the people that like that flavor, are just infatuated with that one. Well, that rainbow sherbet, man, you knocked that one out of the park. Definitely. I mean, that was a great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reorder slam. now. I I expected another sherbet bait. Oh, so did I. And it's not. It's it's. Really I had kind of a hint from uh, Tim's wife that it was a little different. Um, she messaged me when I got it. I think we were in group chat, maybe. And she she said that uh, they had done something a little different with it. And, uh, yeah, they put all three flavors instead of just one. Yeah. How dare they? <laughs> so knowing knowing what I know about juice making, um, and I've, I've seen the process for the most part. There is singular bases that can be used to make certain flavors, mm-hmm. and what I see, what I think, and I'm not sure. Tim, you correct me if I'm wrong. That this is a multi-base juice. Oh yes, yeah. I, I do not have one single juice that is less than two bases. Right. And that's the what, that, and that's what makes your juice so good, man. I mean, yeah. Home run all the way with Rainbow Sherbet. You couldn't have done a better job with that. Uh, I think uh, Emberlon can keep his Dragon's Lair. Yeah, that's all him. That's that you can, um, yeah. The Norma Jean, very good job on the revamp on that. Uh, Lemon Rush, I could rock that. That's like a Trix flavor to me. Um, yeah, that was really good. Whereas Roy got Tasty Cakes. Uh, it's it's kick lemon pie. It's sort of reminded me of um, RBF. Man, that was awesome. I liked it. Yeah, uh, I liked it a lot. But I like banana. Um, teacher's pet, really sweet, but really good. Actually. Yeah, teacher's pet was pretty good. So I'd say. Oh,